Sagittarius, welcome back to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today, I'm very excited. Uh, this is my favorite spread in the whole wide world to do. And I have not done this yet on film. I just did Aries, it was beautiful. And uh, we're gonna be doing Celtic Cross. And this is a mid-monthly monthly reading for you. So this will be from the mid-month of September through the mid-month of October. We're going to take a deep, deep look into what is coming up for you in the next week, okay? And then we're going to be ending it off with a mystical shaman oracle. All right. So welcome back to the channel. Let's get started. Sag, what is happening for you? And I only use this deck for Celtic Cross readings very special to me. My favorite deck, Gilded Tarot. Have a look if you guys are tarot enthusiasts. It's beautiful. I love the imagery. Boy. Okay, now we're going to start. Might help if I have my glasses because I can't see deadly squat. <laughs> Goodness me. You always go so deep, Sagittarius. What am I going to do with you? I swear. It seems like I really have to hold back the tears when I read for you, Sag. All right. Where are you at right now? Reason for the reading. Two of Swords. So it looks like you are trying to break through any illusions you have. Um, you know, I think it's been hard because... These are the lies we tell ourselves, right? Um, the illusions that we put ourselves under, the things we don't want to see, the truth we want to ignore, right? So I think that you're trying to come out of being blind to a situation, blind to a person, you know? You know, I'm, I'm hearing that, you know, amazing grace. I once was blind, but now I see. It's like, you know, you're, you're having to remind yourself over and over again. The truth of a person I'm feeling and it's not easy because you were under a very strong sense about them that wasn't true that's what I'm feeling I'm feeling a very soft like wounded Sag heart right now crossing you the challenge is the worry the stress the anxiety that this whole illusion this whole need to see the truth has elicited um i think you're especially for the mid-month um through the rest of september and into october you're really the challenge for you is to to get out of that mental anguish to get out of your thoughts get out of the place that this person or the situation has put you in this mental stress this anguish what you need to focus on, third position, the king of swords, seeing the truth, understanding your power, understanding the power of your reasoning mind, the power of your logical mind, really coming from a place of knowing in your head the truth, right? Not being under any sort of flights of fantasy here, right? Which is hard when it comes to an attachment, very hard. Recent past, the Six of Pentacles. You know, this can signify um, having like a generous heart. Um, on the converse side, it's someone who's only giving a little bit. So maybe you felt like you either weren't giving enough to yourself or you're giving too much to someone else. There was some sort of um, need, I'm hearing, to give to yourself okay in the past you had to give more to yourself as hard as it was you had to give more to yourself very very important that you do that okay your strengths following your intuition Sag knowing what's right for you really listening to your own inner knowing and your own inner guidance that's a strong strong ability for you you have this intact right the near future the hierophant even more inner knowing even more spiritual understanding that's the thing I'm seeing that 
you're in two minds about someone. On the one hand, you look at everything that they put you through and the wound of that and the pain of that. On the other hand, you're looking at your spiritual sensibilities and looking at the higher lesson and the reason for it. And those are two hard things that are very difficult to reconcile, right? The suge suggested approach is knowing what you deserve. Then you're an empress, all right? Your approach to this is embodying the empress, Sag. Embodying who you are as, as a rightful being, a divine being who deserves nothing but the truth from another individual. The truth of their heart, the truth of their soul, the truth of their spirit. Okay, not the deceptive qualities, not the wounded qualities, okay? What you need to know is that, yes, the pain has been tender, hard, difficult, but you're healing from this pain. You're healing from this pain. I sense that strongly, that if you wanna focus on the pain and let that guide you, it's going to continue to cause you great distress. But if you focus on the healing of that pain, then it will guide you through this, this difficult time in your mind, okay? Hopes and fears, whether you're gonna really come out of this into a place of balance, right? Potential outcome, the seven of pentacles, you know, looking back at all the work you put into this and was it worth it? You want it to be worth it. You want the healing to be worth it, I'm hearing. If I heal from this, is it the right thing I'm hearing? Like. Someone really, really did a number on your psyche, Sag, I'm feeling. It's like been a very, very difficult process to shape. You want to overcome it. You want to overcome the pain that someone put you through. The woundedness. The woundedness. The wounded warrior. Are you mad at the universe, Sag? Are you mad? You mad at what you've had to endure? Let's clarify the reason for the reading here. The two of swords coming out of illusion seeing the truth, removing the, the blindfold, seeing the truth of the reality. Yeah, coming back into balance, being strong around this connection. Yeah, we have temperance, temperance, sorry, temperance, temperance, strength in the Six of Cups. So I think you're understanding, yes, this connection meant a lot to you. It still means a lot to you. You're always going to love this person, you know, but you've had to be strong. You've had to be really strong because you needed to come back into balance, you know, um, whether this is a connection that you're still enduring or a connection that has already come to pass. It's like it's teaching you to be strong, right? It's teaching you to be really strong. Sit with that. Sit with your strength. Sit with the need for you to find balance within yourself around this person. That, you know, your, own, your only desire is to come into a place of balance with this person and to remove anything that is in the way of that. So maybe you are in a position now where you both are trying to come out of a period of distress. Let's keep going. Because I'm not sure if this is an existing connection or a past connection that is still on your mind. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords. We're gonna know that in a moment here. But it could be, you know, I could be reading for two group of Sagittarians where, you know, this, yes, this is a connection that is ongoing. So you're going through um, kind of some rougher communication and it's putting you up in your head and you're worried about the future. Or this is a connection that um, is still lingering in your mind, in your energetic space. Let's see, let's clarify the Nine of Swords. Yeah. Ah. We have the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like, yeah, you are withdrawn. You have retreated. Um, maybe you're looking at options, ways of overcoming. Um, I think you guys are going through, I'm sensing more that you're going through a major impasse with someone. Two Two of Swords. Um, it has something to do with the way you're communicating and the both of you, the way you're dealing with the problem. And I think that you're both coming from seeing it differently it's almost like that 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 whole um, argument when you are trying so hard to get someone to see your perspective and and it's and they're not it's like all you want is to feel seen and heard and validated with how you feel 
and yet every time you try to explain it, it seems to wound them or trigger them and then they get defensive and then they come back at you. And not only are they not hearing you and validating you, they are um, defending their position and it's causing a lot of chaos and conflict in the moment and then you maybe retreat from each other and then you come back, you know? And each time, it's like you're trying to come up with options and ways to resolve how you express your wants and needs. But at the end of the day, you feel a bit like you're not getting there, you know? You're not quite getting to that place of peaceful resolution. And it, it, it makes you worry, you know? Like, I feel like you're you're confused about what this person is is willing to invest. You're confused about where they're coming from. I think this person confuses you. I'm sensing that a lot. This person confuses you a great deal. And you're not really quite sure, like, it's like you come into a place of balance and then things get thrown off and then you both get triggered and you both respond to each other. And it's like, you, you don't wanna keep continuing this. Yeah, you're trying to see, you're trying to understand this person's behaviors, I think. You're like, it just doesn't make sense to me. All right. It's interesting. I feel like it's a very, very, very challenging dynamic. All right, what are you focused on? Like I said, you're focused on coming into a place of letting your, your analytical mind guide you more than your emotions. Yeah, going within, okay. I feel like you're studying, you're, maybe you're all over analyzing a situation. Um, maybe you're overly focused on spending too much time on analyzing where someone is coming from out of fear. Um, they put you in your head a lot and in a place of fear. Perhaps in the past, they've kind of shown up in um, more of an immature way. And it's like you're trying, <laughs> this is hard. One time I, I um, started dating somebody who was, um, there, was a, there was a bit of an age difference. And one of my friends was like, and they seemed to be kind of immature the way they were showing up, but I initially was totally enamored, right? And when that happens, you just can't see really the truth. You know, you're like, oh, they're so cute. And, uh, you know, I'm falling for them. And uh, I know it's probably, you know, you ignore the red flags. And she was like, do you really want to raise a pup? You know, it's like, if you take on an energy that is, you know, is more immature than you, there's a fair amount of work you have to do, right? To kind of contain that energy. Um, so it doesn't go haywire, but also like train that energy. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Just listen, okay, this is how you show up in a healthy way. This is how we express our emotions. This is, and maybe even they're like, God, you sound like a therapist, you know, when you're talking to them, um, because you have a fair amount of inner knowing. I mean, we have the Hierophant and the High Priestess here in your back pocket with how you come across. And maybe they feel a bit like, you know, they get treated a lot like from that place of, you know, you're always coming from this place of I know better, you know, and that could be hard because you have someone who's kind of pushing up against that and you're just trying to resolve things right in a healthy way. And yet I think sometimes that you're met with, you know, as much as you analyze and maybe on the end of our analysis, which we can do, um, there's this pushback, right? And then that creates a lot of fear, you know, and defensiveness on both sides. Let's see, what is this recent past? The Six of Pentacles, where you're like, is this really worth all my time and energy? Like, like I said, training someone to become, I know it sounds terrible. I don't mean that in a bad way, guys. It's just, and I think you get it. It's like when you're dealing with an energy that hasn't, doesn't quite have that emotional intelligence or that emotional maturity yet. And you know they can get there, but they're not showing up in that pocket, right, of, of energy. And you're just like, God, this is so frustrating. <laughs> All right. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. All right. So in the past, I think that <sighs> I 
there was a fair bit of waiting, I think, for a level of openness that you, um, you, you were very, um, the position that you were in when it comes to, is this worth my time and energy? I think in the past you were really unsure about whether this was someone you even wanted to entertain. You know, I think that there was some sort of waiting period, whether they were at a distance or there was, there was like, they, you couldn't quite, like when you met them, okay? I'm sensing that when you met this person, Sag, there was something about that dynamic that the timing was off, right? And your inner knowing was saying, mm, maybe you shouldn't do this. You know, is this going to be worth it? Like, are you sure this is the right time? even whether it was the right timing for you because you weren't in the right space. Because, you know, if you're not at the right vibration, right, when you attract an energy, you're going to get maybe something that you're pulling in that maybe you don't want to play with. You do, you think you do, because maybe it's shiny and beautiful and cute, right? Um, I don't know why this is crass, but maybe they had a really cute butt and you were just like, man, that just makes me go crazy. I don't know why spirit they wanted they're they're bringing in this playful spirit right because we have to take these things lightly sometimes and yes in your mind if you've gone through this heavy period of like pain and over analysis and all up in your head and replaying events and you know replaying the arguments and replaying uh, the stories that we tell trying to spirit right now is trying to guide you towards this place of Let's, let's lighten up the energy. Let's take a new approach here. You know, let's look at what happened in the past. When you entered into this connection, the timing was off. And you went there anyway, and, and maybe that created a lot of turbulence. You know, and it, that turbulence, it's reverberating through the relationship. So that's just something that, you know, it ha oops, it happens. So your strengths. Wow, did not expect that. Wow, that's a good tower. Okay, your strengths here on the over the high priestess, your own inner knowing, your own um, soul. You have the King of Cups, the Tower, and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's almost like you're like throughout this whole relationship and this whole experience, you approach life from this feeling and this knowing of you let your your heart guide you. And even if you go through a lot of shit with somebody, you always see the positive. And that's beautiful, Sag. Wow. You know, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, and the King of Cups. Like, when you enter into anything, Sag, I'm sensing strongly that, like, you have this, this sensibility around, my heart is open. I know how to come from a place of love. Even when everything appears to be falling apart, I am a strong is the mightiest I am as, you know, I know how to pull on every resource available to me. Like, damn, Sag, like you got it going on. Like, damn, that is some massive strength that you got props. Like I'm giving you a, a fist pump because whatever it is that you have to endure, you have learned the value of your own resilience. Damn. Sag, that's deep right there. All right, hey. Props to you. I'm giving you a high five. Let's see. What's this near future? The Hierophant. I think you're really committed to your own spiritual growth right now. That's a strength of yours. No matter what's going on in your love life. Spiritual Sag, yeah? The moon, the high priestess, yeah. But they're competing parts in you. There are competing parts in you. As much as you know what's best for you, you fight it. You fight it, Sag. You do. I think in the future you're you're at odds. This is this is a divine partnership here, the Hierophant and the High Priestess. But it's like you guys are quarreling about things that have maybe remained a bit hidden. But I also see this as you coming into balance with your divinity. You really coming into balance with your essence. Really balancing out the things in you that are at war. Your ego and your soul. And you see it. You see how your ego wants to win. 
and you see how hard you have to, your soul has to temper that ego. Wow, Sag, I just got a beautiful pull on that. Potential future, pay attention to the way the ego wants to take over, okay? This is, like I said, Sag, you bring the spiritual. I love it, you bring the spiritual. Like this is the spiritual, spiritual, spiritual energy. But you, you fight it. Your ego fights. God, your ego wants to win. But your spirit's too strong. Your soul is too strong, Satch. Damn. That is freaking hardcore. Wow. Damn. I got to fix my leg here. <laughs> All right, I'll get there. I'm a little tight. Puck. I'm a little tight, y'all. I've been working out hard. All right, let's see. <laughs> Sorry about that. I get a little sore sometimes from time to time. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see. All right. Let's see. What is your suggested approach? How are you going to approach this? Yeah. Knowing that you're worthy of everything, right? Knowing that you're worthy of feeling like the queen that you are, or the king that you are, coming from a place of true knowing and nurturing of self, right? We talked about this. All right, it's important right now. Oh, it's important right now. This is important, so listen. I think you know whatever brought you to this reading, you know exactly what you need to do. And I'm here to remind you to do that. I think that you either have someone coming in to apologize after a fight, or you need to stop listening to your ego and really come into a place of keeping your heart more open. Stop trying to analyze everything, all right? It's getting you stuck. You are starting a new cycle. You are um, in a brand new pocket of energy for the upcoming four weeks. Lean in, lean in, okay? Knowing, lean into your soul, knowing that you are creating the life that you desire in that it's at your fingertips. Magic. Believe in the magic, okay? For whatever reason, you're up in your head. I want you to ground into your soul. Let your spirit guide you right now. Let your guides guide you right now, okay? This is your suggested approach to remember that the universe has a divine plan for you, okay? Trust in the divine plan, right? Spirit isn't going to leave you, okay? Spirit never leaves you. Your true self is always with you, okay? It is your greatest ally. Your greatest asset is your soul. When you let the ego take over, it's just a shit show, all right? So you know what to do here. You do. There's no doubt in my mind. Keep your heart open. Let love guide you, okay? Let love guide you, all right? I know you're experiencing some pain. All right. Looking at card number eight, what you need to know. What do you need to know? It has to do with the pain you're carrying. What is your pain saying? If your pain could talk right now, what would it say? It would say, Jenna. God dang it. Yep, you know this. If your pain could speak, what would it tell you? It's saying you're hung up on a toxic attachment that you know you need to walk away from. This is the karmic tie. There's so much going on with karmic trauma bonds the last couple of weeks in all of the collective. It's like either a current trauma bond or a past trauma bond that is still in your vibration, that is still in your energetic field. You are doing the work to clear it, Sag. You are doing the work to clear it. Do not keep hearing your voice of your ego and all of the pain and all of the like, why did this happen? They suck. They hurt me. I want, I want revenge. You know, I want them to hurt as much as they hurt me. You know what? Drop it all. Let it go. The greatest gift that you can give yourself is to just let it go and focus on the here and now and be as present, as painfully present as possible from day to day, from minute to minute, hour to hour, day by day, month to month. Presence. Presence is your key to freedom. Okay? The only way to get through this pain is to remember either this is coming to an end, this toxic attachment, this unhealthy attachment, 
or you need to stop obsessing over this person. You've been hung up on this person for far too long, they're saying. It served what it served. The lessons were served, right? Maybe you're being hung up on the way they treat you and you need to forgive. If this is a current attachment, you can turn it around, the two of you, but you have to do the work to turn it around. You can't do it all on your own. You can't steer the ship by yourself, okay? So this has a lot to do with, are you going to really hang on to this pain? Are you going to let the pain guide you forward into this new cycle? Or are you going to let trusting in the universe guide you, Sag? What's this justice? This justice, your hopes and fears, and then we'll look at the potential outcome. What, are your, what is this justice? What are your hopes and fears here? What do you hope to happen and what are you afraid of? Yeah. You hope for a brand new beginning, a feeling of hopefulness, a feeling of innocence, a feeling of independence. Like my wishes are going to come true. You're worried that you're not going to have your wish come true. But what is your sincerest wish? Your sincerest wish isn't to hang on to a toxic person. Is it? Don't be disillusioned by that. Your sincerest wish is freedom. Letting your soul guide you. True divinity. True knowing who you are as a soul. Finding your own liberation in that. You have been wounded, Yes. But your greatest fear is overcoming this, is if you're going to overcome it, yes. But you have to step off. You have to remember the journey. You have to remember this innocence. This journey is all about taking a leap of faith that despite everything, there's always an opportunity for a brand new beginning just around the corner, Sag, if you let it, okay? Here we are, the potential outcome of, of you looking at the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles is... Really looking at beyond the equal give and take, you know, of not having that in the past and waiting in the uncertainty of it all. Now you're moving into the seven of pentacles of the next transition of coming to a place of, is it all going to be worth it? I think you're wondering if all the soul work that you're doing is going to be worth it. I think you're looking at like either changing an attachment, correcting the attachment, Really digging deep into your strength. Really digging deep into who you are as a soul on this planet. God, Sad, you know what's best for you. Don't hang on to someone who's unhealthy. Seriously, really look at this attachment. Be honest with yourself. What is the outcome here? Clarify this. You're really wondering, is it worth it? I've been beat up by this situation. Yeah. Potential outcome. You were grieving this attachment and you're going to continue to grieve it. Recognize it for what it is. I think this person was, like I said, they were a pup. You are a priestess, hierophant, empress. Is this going to meet you at your level? Is this the vibration you want to carry alongside you? Is this your equal? I'm being real with you, Sag. Drop the illusion. This person is not at your level. Grieve it. Lean into the loss. You will get past it. You have the opportunity here. Two cups behind you. If you would just turn around. You have a new beginning. You have a brand new beginning, Sag. Lean into that. Lean into the potential for what the universe can bring you if you let it. The universe wants to bring you goodness. Let your guides help you. The more you hang on to this, the more you wallow in it, the more you play victim to it, the more you are going to keep yourself from a life that you have always dreamed of. Okay, Satch? Sometimes I gotta get out the, you know, you know who you are. Don't settle for less, please. Don't settle for an immature energy, a freaking page. Come on. You are a freaking empress. Twice. You have the high priestess. Do not discredit your intuition here. Do not be a fool of the ego mind. 
God, this reading's for everyone who's who wants to be under the illusion of someone being somebody they're not. And I know you want them to be someone they're not, but you can't attach that energy, the energy of your dreams to an immature energy and think it's going to change. You cannot mold and raise, you can raise a real puppy, right? And maybe, you know, they might have bad habits, but do you want to have a puppy, a person that has bad habits that isn't willing to change? The Adian cross. Oh, sorry, the Adian. Maybe you have an Adian in your life or an A name. The Andean cross. Interesting. What is that? The Andean cross. I'm intrigued. This is a new deck to me, so. Let's see. The Andean cross. The medicine. The time has passed and the window of opportunity has closed. Now is not the moment to take the leap you have been over-preparing for. It is best to wait until conditions in heaven line up again to offer you a more propitious 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 I don't know this word all right y'all you're gonna have to help me with this propitious propit propitious p-r-o-p-i-t-i-o-u-s moment you know what that is a brand new word to me I'm gonna have to look that up so you might have to look that one up propitious moment any bold action you take now will require tremendous effort on your part just as important as knowing when to act is knowing when to return to your inner stillness and wait for more favorable times. All right. Now that is your guidance for the upcoming mid-month to mid-month. I'm sending you so much love, Sag. Please know that I say all this in the spirit of, of love, truth, and inner guidance. Really, really lean into your guides and your own soul development and your soul journey right now, okay? I think you're really trying to walk away from a very strong, toxic attachment that you know better not to touch anymore, okay? All right, Sag. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.